A border battle to remember. The Missouri Tigers beat the victory drum after a thrilling showdown at Arrowhead Stadium. Highlights and much more with Coach Gary Pinkle next on This Week in Mizzou Football. As great as Grant Russell has been all season, he really hasn't had a last second game winning field goal attempt, but no problem as it turned out. Yeah, it turned out great. And uh, we got, a, we got a chance to get off the field without getting the defense back on. And uh, just uh, a great victory, great for our seniors. You know, it's, uh, three out of four years we beat uh, Kansas. And that's kind of raising the bar at Mizzou here, and hopefully that'll pass on to our younger team. Well, let us show you now the highlights, and there are plenty of them, of Missouri's win over the Jayhawks at Arrowhead Stadium, a crowd of more than 70,000 on an unseasonably warm late November afternoon. Wasn't it great? How about that? Last year was snow. The year before that, it was 15 <laughs> degrees, and uh, a beautiful day. And what an environment, too. Just mm -hmm. what, what an environment. And they, they have a really good football team. Uh, you know, I'm tired of seeing all these uh, great players I have, and fortunately, fortunately most of them are going to graduate. Well, Todd Reesing had the offense going for Kansas here early. You know, you had them third and 11 at their one on this uh, early drive in the game, but they got out of the hole, and Reesing, as, as we've seen, as you said, can, can really escape trouble and make things happen. Great competitor. Great, great competitor. We had a late hit out of bounds. You know, you, you know a game like this, you have to stay emotionally, you have to stay in control. And, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't do that a few times in this game, and it actually it was very costly. But they went down and responded well and got a touchdown, and uh, I knew this was going to be a very difficult game, and, and uh, here's a great run by Blaine Gabbard. 30 yards for Blaine Gabbard on Missouri's uh, second drive of the game. Tigers down 7 nothing at this point, and then it's uh, Gabbard on little play action, little shovel pass, really almost like an option play to the receiver you put in. Yeah, we did that a little bit uh, when, uh, you know, Chase a little bit, and obviously when Brad Smith was here, but that just got down in field goal range and a uh, good snap, good hold, and uh, uh, Grant Russell kicks it in, and that's certainly, uh, you know, every single point in this game, as we know towards the end, uh, is certainly meaningful. Boy, that's for sure. 7-3 late in the first quarter. Here come the Jayhawks again, racing to Jake Sharp. Uh, 20-yard game before Jarrell Harrison makes the stop along the sideline. Kansas on the move one more time. We yeah, have wasn't very good run support right there. You know, it's like a sweep. You have to contain it. They did a, it was a good play by their from their standpoint. He's got a lot of time to throw there, and uh, I thought they did a great job protection-wise. We throw all those little screens. It slows your rush down, and uh, and they did a good job of that. And then they got it in the end zone. So they're, they're battling, and I was very impressed with all they've been going through there. Uh, how their how their team battled, and uh, you know fought. Fought hard uh, throughout the entire game. No doubt. 14 to 3, Jayhawks heading into the second quarter. Kansas with the ball again. It's racing to Briscoe, a five yard pickup before he was planted by linebacker Will Ebner. And then, uh, Gary, get another look. Uh, again, Ebner, uh, there's there's no doubt when he hits you. Yeah, he he, 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 he tags you. And, uh, you know, that's a very physical player, sophomore, and uh, we'll continue to get better and better. Now here is a pass and catch. Briscoe has first down yardage, but Jacquees Smith rips the ball out, and it's a turnover, Mizzou in business. Yeah, Carl gets it down to the four-yard line. You talk about a big, big mm -hmm. play. And now, now we really need seven on this thing, you know. And but you go back to the turnover. This is a, this is this didn't happen just because uh, Briscoe dropped it. It's because it got ripped out. A tech, a, a, that fundamental technique to pull it out. And uh, just a, you know, we had three turnovers in this game, and it was they, they, they were huge. So Missouri with the ball, first and goal at the five. Blaine Gabbert with a run to pick up about uh, four yards to the one, and that would uh, set up a touchdown. Derek Washington really had a strong running game, including this touchdown. Yeah, great blocking right there, pushing mm -hmm. them, and then you know Derek walks in, and big play for us right there, that third down play. It had been fourth and one. Probably gone for a field goal if we wouldn't have made that because we, we had to get points. But, uh, you know, Derek had a great day. Um, this guy had a good day, too. He's a great, great player. You, you'll see him play on Sundays. and. What a great competitor. And we had a coverage, uh, you know, we just got two guys ran into each other and he came free and that's not very good. And, and this guy, <laughs> Meyer's a great player too. So uh, I still got a chance to see those guys, those three guys after the game and congratulate them on a great career. Well, they really went out with a bang uh, offensively. Those those key players in Kansas offense is 21-10. Kansas with the lead after that Meyer reception for a score. But back comes uh, Missouri here to try to get some more points before halftime. Gabbert to Jackson for nine and it's Gabbert running and he's looked so strong running the football these last few weeks. Look at this effort all the way down the sideline deep to Kansas uh, end of the field. You know big guy that can run you know and uh, mm -hmm. we had Gerald Jarrell on a third non conversion to get us in that position. We really wanted seven out of this but we got the field goal and uh, and uh, that we was an eight point game at half. Their offense was you know you know they were making so many big mm -hmm. plays you know it was important just to stay in the game like you said have an eight point game at half and a week ago we had seven and uh, we got the ball at half in the second half, which is very unusual this year. That didn't happen very often. 
and can we take advantage of that? And uh, you know, we circled the wagons in there, and uh, kids came out playing hard.